I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Now I'm ready. Welcome to the dark, psychedelic, early 90s rave in my imagination. Although, I don't think they would have maybe had music like this at early 90s raves. But the visuals are certainly a little nod to that era. Lo-fi, grunge. That's because this is the Ned Rush Retro Collection. And... It's got some cool new things. If you're a brainwash user, uh, a geosynth user, and a damage user, some of these things will be familiar to you. But what's happened now is that the clever people at Isotonic have ported all of those into the world framework, which means that you can use them in cool new ways use lots of them, you can put effects on them and put them in different layers and it's awesome. So what I've done here is I've put together a little sort of grungy composition. Uh, Some of these are reacting to audio and some of them are being triggered by MIDI. I'll take you through it. They're also sitting in layers. In the new world viewer we've got layers now. Front, middle, and back. So to start with, I've got brainwash on the beat. I'll just wait for that to kick back in. There it is. So if I start bringing that in now, whoa, whoa, what's going on? My mind. So if you know Brainwash, you'll know the idea, how it works. It's kind of like a video feedback system that sort of reacts to audio, gets fed back into a system where it creates these sort of blooms. We've changed some of the uh, UI elements, though. We've put this color palette in. uh, Which will... So you can kind of control the color now, either automatically. In conjunction with some stuff happening in the master world viewer. I'll get to that in a minute. All right. On the bass line, I can't really see it right now because I've just cranked Brainwash up. Let's crank that back down. On the bass line, there's kind of this uh, wave thing going down here in the middle. You see that? That scope. Which is kind of a sort of oscilloscope that gets mapped onto a plane. It's the same scope that's in the damage device we've moved over and we can move it around here the position thing like that snap it back to the middle Uh, and now it's disappeared where's it gone it's now just creating these streaks still looks good though it still looks good right so and then on here we've got geosynth pro which again has been moved over into the world environment. That's what's making these curious sort of geometric tunnels here. And this is all being triggered by MIDI, which I've uh, sequenced in time to that violin. So it'll change 
you can program in your own uh, sequences with that. Let's just have a little look at that in a minute. So we've got these sort of different... Oh! Goodbye music. Hello. We've got these different things we can play with, the way that we can kind of distort the geometry. That's just plain, multiplied, and then there's these different types of noise data that we can use to distort the mesh. Whoa, that's cool. And this is all being triggered by MIDI, and uh, what I've done is that I've dropped a drum rack down here after the device, so it'll lay out uh, on your push the same way that a drum rack would quite convenient because we've sort of laid out the controls here like a drum rack you can kind of play it like an instrument which is nice where's the music gone come back come back music cool what did i have it on before cell uh, yeah i like cell sort of striking let's go let's move on to the viewer now which has been heavily updated to incorporate not only all kinds of new effects, but new effects per layer. Oh my gosh. So let's think about this now. What have we got? We've got brainwash on the back layer. The back layer. And I believe this is the back layer. Yeah. So why don't we play with some of these effects, see what we get. Ooh. Oh, kaleidoscope. There we go. Displace the RGB. That's nice. Gives it that kind of grungy video look. Oh, what do all these do? Hang on a minute. Give it a bit more brainwash. Whoa, what have I done? <laughs> it's all gone green. I am just getting lost here, lost in a world of rave. Let's have a look at uh, what's on the front layer. Geosynth is on the front layer. Let's have a look, have a look at that. Oh, there we go, a bit of collision. Freaky thing that's going on here. That's quite nice. 80s. That's a 80s teenage boy's bedroom right there. I'm gonna chuck a little bit of slide onto. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Where's brainwash gone? Oh, there it is. It's just gone a little bit blurry. Looks good though. Yeah, I mean, we can just tweak away and get lost. It's good. I'm gonna drop it down to 30 frames a second now. I think we can just turn them all the effects on and off here like that.
Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I was just getting completely... I was just monging out to this... All this business. So, yeah, this is available now, soon. Um, Yeah. It also uh, comes as part of an enormous world of other devices. More coming all the time. Get involved. Uh, Thanks for watching.